Good evening and welcome to Marseille where we're looking ahead to a huge weekend of World Cup quarter-final action. It starts with Wales, Argentina here tomorrow before England, then take on Fiji on Sunday night. Now we've been in the England camp today. We've been hearing from their head coach, Steve Borthwick. He's named his side today and the headline has to be that Owen Farrell returns to fly half. He was playing at 12 last weekend. He takes that number 10 shirt off of George Ford where he will captain the side from this weekend. George Ford finds himself on the bench. The other headline has to be Marcus Smith, who gets his second start at fullback, replacing Freddie Stewart, who is left out of the squad altogether, with Elliot Daly returning to the wing. Let's hear from Steve Borthwick now. These players want to be involved in big games. And this is, we're quite clear, this is, this is knockout rugby. And I think that these players, I think they'll, they'll embrace this challenge. And I think they'll really rise to the occasion. That's my expectation. Uh, I think that's what they've done throughout this tournament. And I expect them to, to rise again for, for Sunday against Fiji. Um, there's a lot of players here who've experienced knockout rugby before. Uh, there's a lot of players who've lifted a lot, of tro a lot of trophies at different times in their careers. So I really, my expectation is they'll be rising to the occasion. So some big selections for Borthwick to make. Lots of excitement here, though, around the inclusion of Marcus Smith and his teammates full of praise for him today. Captain Owen Farrell talking about what he brings to training. Joe Marler again saying, we've seen it all at Harlequins, and now he really has his moment to shine on the international stage. So England looking ahead to Fiji, who got the better of them seven weeks ago at Twickenham. England had never lost to Fiji before that, so they know the challenge that they pose. It is a hugely physical test, but they're hopeful that they can overcome Fiji this weekend and book their place in Paris next weekend, which is where James Savundra is now. He's looking ahead to what is a huge night in Paris tomorrow as Ireland take on New Zealand. Yes, thanks very much, Eleanor. A huge match in store tomorrow night for Ireland. And they'll feel like they've done all they can along the way to prepare themselves for this moment. They're the number one ranked side in the world. They've beaten New Zealand in a series away from home. They've beaten the world champion South Africa twice in the space of the last 12 months and of course they won the Grand Slam in March. They've won their last 17 test matches, 29 test victories from 31, but they have lost seven Rugby World Cup quarterfinals in a row. The last one particularly painful against the All Blacks in Tokyo in 2019. But it's been a remarkable journey since then and I asked Mike Catt, the Ireland assistant coach, whether he feels this side have ticked off every box along the way to ensure they can be victorious tomorrow night. Yeah, listen, it's been an amazing journey. The boys have been incredible and, and where we've come from, where they've come from, where we've got to, how we've learned as a group of coaches as well. Um, you know, we've put in some, some really big performances and it's, um, it's moments like tomorrow night that, you know, we need to step up and, and perform again. So, um, you know, we're massively proud of it. It doesn't mean that you're going to win a game, but, um, you know, we know if we put in a performance and what we've achieved over the past sort of two, three years, then you know, you give yourself a chance and, and ultimately that's what, it, what international rugby is about. So it's been, it's been a brilliant journey. It's been an amazing journey. So see how long it continues for. Ireland have won three of their last four test matches against the All Blacks, but the All Blacks have won the World Cup on three separate occasions and have only gone out at this stage of a tournament once in their history. So tomorrow's match pits the world number one ranked side against a side who have won this competition more than anybody else. And Ireland have come through their captain's run, all 23 players fit and ready to go to make history tomorrow night here at the Stade de France. Let's head back down south now and join James Cole on the south coast. Thanks, James. Yes, Wales cooking nicely here on the Côte d'Azur. They progressed from a pool many people didn't think they'd get out of because it included Australia and Fiji. Wales did it in style, beating all of the opponents and recording a record win over Australia to send Eddie Jones and the Aussies home in the pool stages for the first time. Wales have a mixture of youth and experience in their team. One of their most experienced campaigners, Dan Bigger, is back from a chest injury. He's fit to start at 10 and he spoke to the media today and he says the knowledge that this could be his last game for Wales is driving him and some of his older teammates on. It's been an unbelievable World Cup. I think the stadiums, the cities, the, the people, it's been incredible. So for us, for us in that boat, we're, we're definitely finishing. It's not an if. It's, uh, it's, it will be finishing after the World Cup. It's, um, th there is a little bit of extra pressure, but it's also a huge motivation. It's something that I definitely don't want 
uh, my last day as a Welsh rugby player to be um, losing a quarter final. No, absolutely not. So we, we've worked as much as hard as we possibly can all week, put in all the extra little bits on the laptop, on the pitch. Um, not so much in the gym for myself, but um, but trying to do as much as I can for, for, for this team and, and for us as individuals to make sure we go out on a high rather than um, a disappointing, disappointing end. Land of my fathers. Ah. Wales go into this game in the unfamiliar position of being favourites. Gatland and Wales prefer to be underdogs and will be wary of an Argentina side that have improved as the tournament has gone on.